starting a business can be a challenge on its own, especially when you're alone. However, today we're joined by a representative from Amakosigazi Business Forum, an organization that focuses on empowering and supporting women to start and run their businesses, businesses successfully. This is Shiran's at Meetups. My name is Dumolo Shetube. Welcome, Yazinkosi. Thank you. Hey, Dumo. You're a familiar face to me. Um, could you briefly um, tell us, uh, our viewers, about yourself and the work that you do at Makosigazi Business Forum? Okay, my name is Yazinkosi Ntlovu. Um, I'm one of the co founders of Amakosigazi Business Forum. And as for now, I'm the chairperson of the board. Yeah. I know you beyond this point. Could you, I know that you started HR. Could you tell us how an HR student uh, led to a business person and a fashion designer? Okay, what I'll say is that I started HR because I believe that one day I'm going to be owning a very big organization. And what I believe in is that an organization, for it to be successful, it's run by people. So that's why I had to study HR, so that in the future, when the business grows, I'll be able to, deal, to interact with the team that I'll be working with. Oh, okay. So what activities uh, do you have at Amakosiga as a business forum? Um, what we do, we run business showers every month. And we also have workshops and seminars. And as an organization, we also offer loans and savings facilities to our members. Oh, all right. Why does it take for one to become a member within your organization? We don't discriminate anyone. If you want to be part of Makosigas, it's open to anyone. As long as you are a lady, you are in business and you are aspiring to be, business, to be in business, you can come and join us. Okay, that's wonderful. So from the members that you have currently, what type of businesses do they have? Um, their members were into events, events business, some are into poultry, and some are into fashion and beauty business, and some into baking business. Yeah. All right. Can I take you a, a little bit back? Um, um, I know you already mentioned that you started HR and that's to do with people. So when you started the business, what are the challenges that you faced or um, in, in coming up with the team to kickstart that Makosiga as a forum? It's not everyone who believes in you. You can share your vision with a lot of people, but to actually convince someone to be part of that team that you want to work with and achieve a certain vision, it's quite difficult. Uh, there are some people who would promise that, yes, I'll be part of the Makosigas, but at the end of the day, they had to turn me down. But still, there are some who believed that um, this Makosigas business forum is going to go somewhere. Oh, okay. So, um, what characteristics were you looking for for a team that you could move forward to, with? Okay, firstly, uh, someone who loves ladies, as this is a, a ladies, uh, a ladies organization, and then the other thing, someone who believes in teamwork, because for this organization to be successful, it needs people who believe in teamwork. Not someone who self-centered, someone who self-centered would say, "I can do it," but we need someone with that attitude that says, "We can do it." So, and also someone who's a hard worker. Um, I love the teamwork part that you just mentioned. So uh, you mentioned that you guys do business showers and you also have uh, training programs. Uh, so on these, on these activities that you mentioned, 
are there enough for uh, women to run successful businesses or there's still more that needs to be done? There's still more that needs to be done because what I believe is that as an organization, for you to be successful, it's not only about your own organization. There is need to network with organizations that are in the same uh, line of business and also even those that are outside uh, the line of business that we're doing so that you get to learn more. Because if we say what we are doing is enough, the organization is not going to be successful. So we still need to learn from other people. Uh, yes, and Gossi, you're an HR practitioner, a fashion designer, and a businesswoman. Today, I'm also going to give you another challenge you're going to present for us. Could you take us to the break? This is She Runs It, and today we have Amakosi as a business forum. Stay tuned for more. Um, what I'll say is that some of the ladies were not even confident that um, the kind of businesses that they want to do, will they be able to do it? Will they be able to even like market their product to someone and say I'm selling this? But what I can say is that I'm seeing a change. What can SAID do for you? The Center for Innovation and Technology offers a business opportunity to engage directly with your market online. We also offer media training workshops, live streaming, documentary production, and events management. For more information, visit our website and social media platforms. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. With SAID, you'll never miss a thing. Welcome back to Shiran's at Meetups. My name is Dumolu Jedube. Today we're joined by Yazin Kosi, the co-founder and also a member of Amakosi Gazi Business Forum. As she takes us through having support systems as women in business. Uh, so for the activities that you currently have at Amakosi Gazi, do you have any source of funding uh, to... Uh, for now, we are funding ourselves and we are funding ourselves from the subscriptions that we pay every month. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, so is it is Amakosiga is open for anyone who would like to be part of the organization or what? It's open for everyone. It's open yeah. for everyone. Okay. Whether you're in business or you're aspiring to be in business, you can come All and right. join us. All right. Out of curiosity, why did you choose to have certain organization specifically for women? Uh, from a tender age, oh, I've, I've loved dealing with ladies okay. and I'm someone who also believes that whenever ladies come together, there's always success. So that's why this organization is dealing with ladies only. I'm not saying like men cannot do it, but where they are ladies, I know they success. I've seen it. You've seen it? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, all right. Um, uh, so are people that have just business ideas also welcome to the organization or you want strict people strictly with businesses? Even if you have a business idea, you can come. Uh, because some of our members, when we started this organization, they just came with ideas. They had not yet initiated the businesses, but now they are running businesses. So even if you have an idea, you can come and join us. Oh, all right. How successful have, it, have they been since they started with you, with the organization? Um, what I'll say is that some of the ladies were not even confident that uh, the kind of businesses that they want to do, will they be able to do it? Will they be able to even like market their product to someone and say, I'm selling this? But what I can say is that I'm seeing a change. Even if they were here, some of them today, they will tell you that, yeah, we have grown. Mm -hmm. We have learned something that has actually built our confidence in our businesses. Oh, all right. Um, it's so inspiring to have women support each other, especially when it comes to empowering each other um, in the business environment. 
Uh, are there any women that you look up to as an organization or as an individual that you that inspire you? My mother. Yes. Why is that so? Um, she's a risk taker and I'm where I am today because of the business that the businesses that she has been doing. I'll just give you an example of a funny business that my mom was doing when my sister was at, um, doing a varsity studies. She was selling uh, goods and would keep those in our house. So she's one person who really inspired me to do this kind of business, yeah. Oh, that's wonderful. Going forward, what more activities uh, do you think uh, women still need, even besides Abomako uh, members? for them to run successful business and be successful even in their personal lives? What I will say is that we have to catch them young. Yes, we can teach uh, someone who's 20, who's 18 about business, but I think we should start from our primary schools, yes. high schools, teach those leaders ab certain aspects about business so that even when they grow up, like you're not starting from zero, but at least they have an idea. So what I'll say is that let's go for the young ones. Yes. Yeah. What does the future look for for Amakosika as a business forum? Um, as Amakosika as a business forum, uh, we have a vision of having a microfinance. All right. Because we believe that sometimes as ladies, yes, we have ideas, but the truth is you need funding somehow you need funding so it's our dream to have a microfinance that can fund not only the Makosigas members but other business ladies or those who are aspiring to be to to do business okay every business has its own challenges what are some of the challenges that you have faced as a Makosigas either progressing as members or the organization or as individuals okay um even so even social challenges okay uh, what i'll say is that whenever you are starting an organization it's not everyone who believes in your dream it's not everyone who can trust you so the challenge that we have faced is that we have to really go an extra mile for people to really trust us because we are not the first organization that has started such a business yeah. there are some who started this and failed, and some would even exploit people. So I think one of the most challenges is, is really building that trust to say, trust us, be part of us. You will learn something that will help you in business. Oh, that's wonderful. You also mentioned that you guys do trainings and uh, workshops. What, uh, what, what topics or what are the tra trainings mainly about? Okay. Um, we have done trainings on social media marketing, on vision boards, um, on finances, how to manage finances as, as a small business. Okay. Yeah, those are just a few there. All right. Why in particular the, those uh, trainings that you just mentioned? Okay. The one on finance, we realized that... Um, as we were discussing as the members, we realized that sometimes it's so difficult when you are a small entrepreneur to manage your finances. You, 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 you don't know what to do, which money is for the business and which one should I use for my personal needs. So that's when we had to invite someone to come and teach us that as, as a small business owner, how can you manage your finances separate to say this is for the business and this is for my own personal needs. Okay. And then the other thing on marketing, we realized that uh, now marketing is the in thing in business right. and social media, like this way most people are advertising and sometimes, yes, we do want to advertise or we are advertising, but you are not seeing good response. So that's when you had to bring someone to come and teach us how can we do that so that we can attract uh, more ca customers to our businesses. Oh, that's interesting and wonderful. I guess I suppose I missed out. <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, so you, from the members that you currently have, are they all members, or some of, or, or it's, are they all directors or some are members as well? Uh, for now, we have seven are directors, and then we have four who are members. Oh, all right. 
how has it been working with the current um, members that you have or directors that you have? I know in organizations and times might have conflicts uh, or, or, or it's been a positive uh, experience. Okay, what I'll say is that the team that I'm working with is the best team. I cannot trade it for anything. Uh, those ladies are, they are something, they are, like, they really love, they are into it. You know, they can go an extra mile that you really ask yourself that, wow, someone can really go an extra mile like this. So the team that I'm working, I'm working with, it's the best. I love those guys. They are energetic and they really believe that um, they're going to become great um, business ladies. Could you give us any tips on how to maintain a positive and uh, team, team members? Okay, firstly what I'll say is that you have to know someone from a personal level because we all have different backgrounds and we have different beliefs so if you know what each and every member believes in it's easy for you to work with those people and the other thing uh, be always smiling at least when you're cheerful someone is free to say uh, this is what i'm facing in my business or even if they've got other personal needs they're able to come to you because you're always smiling so yeah oh, all right you know from the way you're talking from what you've told me um, I feel it's a more personalized kind of uh, organization. It really um, touches beyond business. And I think that's a good thing for women to support each other, uh, for us to grow as uh, women. Um, so the age, what's the age range for Amakosigazi? Uh, I think currently with the members that we have, I think the youngest is 22. Two. Okay. and the oldest may be 38 yeah oh, all right is that a, a, a stable uh, uh, age range or you 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 want even younger or older women I think younger ones for now <laughs> younger ones right. yeah younger ones. yeah because they have more lifespan in the organization because we don't believe like our organization is just uh, an organization that will run for five years or ten we still have years um, running that organization so i believe that when we have more of the younger ones they'll still carry the vision forward oh that's great um is there any advice or any words that you'd like to say to women out there what i'll say is that as a woman, find a support system of other ladies who can help you to build your, your business. Don't be that kind of a woman who says, I can do it. Yes, the I can do it attitude is, is good, but you should also have the we, we can do it. Um, I believe we come, we come from a society that believes in teamwork. If, if, if you realize even when we were young, like, our families they've always worked together to achieve something so for you to be really a successful businesswoman you really need other ladies to help you oh, don't right. say i can do it on my own all right uh thank you so much yazi for joining us at on shiran's meetups i'm already so inspired by the work that you guys are doing at amakosiga zing please keep up with the good work and catch them young <laughs> thank you there you have it. Today we're joined by Yazinko Sindovu, a representative from Amakwasika as a business forum, as she inspired us to have support systems as young women in business for our businesses to be successful and to have a, a shoulder to lean on whenever we have challenges or whenever we need to celebrate our businesses.